those look like some pretty good ingredients there. Avocado, cilantro, onion, and lime, and a little person. What's going on? Ella's gonna help me make guacamole today. Ready to go, Ella? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Get you your bowl. I'm gonna chop up the ingredients for you. And you, you mix and mash everything together, okay? Okay. Alright, sounds good. So we have, we put two avocados in here. And this one's already starting to brown a little bit. Do you see that? This okay, we're just gonna remove that in the pit. Don't do this at home. Usually the pit will come out easily for me. So an easy way to get the avocado out is I'm going to just slice it up into little cubes. Don't go all the way through the skin. You take your spoon and you can just run it across this the skin. And you can get it all out very cleanly. See? And let Ella do the rest. Here you go, Ella. So while Ella is doing that, I'm going to chop up some cilantro. It's just a small handful. And two green onions. I like to use green onions instead of regular onion because it gives a more mild onion flavor. I find sometimes um, guacamole when using onions, the flavor is quite strong. So I prefer using green onions. Alright Ella, do you want to start mushing it up a little bit first before we add the rest of the ingredients? So I've got these really pathetic limes and normally we want to add about a tablespoon of lime juice but I don't even know if I'm going to get a tablespoon of lime juice here. So that would usually be half a lime but I obviously did not do a good job choosing limes today. So we get what we get. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I'm sure these are like way pathetic compared to the key limes that you get in Mexico. How are you doing, Ella? They're hard to smash. <laughs> do you want some help? Alright. Let's see what we can do here. One of the avocados is a, wasn't as ripe as the other one, but it's still not ripe enough for a guacamole. I'm going to add the green onions. Do you want to stir that around a little bit? And we'll add our lime juice. I'm going to pour in our lime juice. Actually, that wasn't bad. I managed to get about a tablespoon of lime juice. Mix that around. The lime juice really is not only to give it a bit of a tang, but also to keep the guacamole from browning. And then I'm going to add the cilantro. Turn that around. And we're gonna add some salt. You want some help? Yeah, okay, you're done. That's it. It's your basic guacamole recipe. I didn't add anything spicy to it, but you can chop up jalapenos and put it in there or add some Tabasco sauce, but because the kids like to eat the guacamole too, we're just gonna leave it as um, plain, I guess. Good job, Bella. Thank you.